for someone who's still on their sort of amateur art journey um, and who's not used to doing mechanical designs or mecha or like uh, cityscapes, is there any resources or any artists or designers you would suggest studying to uh, get on a professional level like you guys? Those guys. Oh yeah, no, I have plenty of references from him. <laughs> um, if, um, what's his name? Uh, there's an artist out there. I think it's Scott Robinson. Um, he does amazing mechanical designs, like and uh, like for vehicles and everything. That which, if you can learn how to do a vehicle, you can learn how to do a building because it's basically breaking down geometric shapes. There, um, Sean Gordon Murphy is a comic book artist out there who does amazing technical work, and he's a fantastic storyteller. He also if you're looking to like get mood into your book, look at him because he's like fantastic with lighting his stuff. Um, but for perspective and buildings and stuff, just I say take photographs. Like look at the world world around you and just try and do that. Um, start out like you, you might have to start out with a perspective grid and a ruler and all that. But once you do it for a while. You can start to freehand it, and now then your line will get a little bit more bounce and liveliness to it. You don't have to be uh, rigidly set to using a ruler, although using a ruler is fast because you can just like go like this, zip, 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 and it's done. <laughs> but uh, it's like you don't have to be slave to the tools. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'd echo the same. I, I think part of uh, what I what I like to do is just try and be kind of mindful of. Uh, everything, uh, you know. Yeah, but like no, but like uh, uh, like as far as like cityscapes or anything like that, like that, I always enjoy coming to places like here, like Chicago, and and like just exploring downtown and just kind of taking in the city and looking up. And photographs are obviously a great reference, but just kind of being mindful of like, okay, this is how things are constructed. This is kind of how things look. Then, and you can apply that to to kind of anything. And uh, yeah, I think that's one of the biggest things is uh, people will like ask me as far as like coloring and stuff goes well like how do you how do you know how to make things look three-dimensional or how, how do you know where to put the shadows or anything like that and I'm just like well you just kind of take care to be mindful of like like you're in this room or something like that and, and seeing like okay there's the light bulb right there it's shining down on that person over there and oh the shadow is down there okay that's how it you know whatever it's just just kind of thinking through and and that's one tip I heard about drawing too is just kind of always draw through you know you don't just kind of draw what you see but you, you almost kind of draw the whole background first you draw the whole environment first and then you place your characters on there and it it makes things more solid and, and gives it a, a more concrete foundation and it's more believable to people looking at it and yeah I have nothing more to add <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs>